Hey guys, it's Erica, and I just unboxed the most beautiful alocasia that you will ever see, and this is from my little sister. She sent it as a gift, and I love it so much, but its roots are not doing so well. Um, they have rotted on their way over here, and it's probably because they were in the mail for longer than they should have or yeah, this plant was in the mail for longer than it should have been. It was wrapped in a paper towel with soil. I feel like it can revive it. It has one healthy root. Let me show it to you. Right here, you can see it's sticking out. And alocasias are, they grow from bulbs. So I'm very confident that this bebe is gonna be okay. <laughs> okay in no time, hopefully. So I'm gonna pot him. I have a little pot for him right now. He has old roots sticking to it. And I have my soil that I made and I'm gonna pot it up and hopefully it will be okay and it will recover really well because this leaf is also kind of yellowing. It's pretty much done. Like that's the end of its life cycle. It was probably so gorgeous. So yeah, we're gonna do that right now. First things first, we're gonna cut off the dead roots, which is honestly the hardest part for me. I feel like it's, I don't know, it's just the hardest part. But um, these roots are white. Usually when roots rot, they are dark brown. So that's pretty unusual, but they are very wilted. As you can see, they are falling apart at the base. The sheathing, the sheath is kind of sliding off. So that is a telltale sign that the roots have been rotted away. And it's really sad, but we have to cut them off because we just gotta, we just gotta cut them off. Sometimes rot spreads and I wanna avoid that. Um, I couldn't find my shears, so I disinfected these scissors with, I think 97% isopropyl alcohol. I don't remember what percent it is, but these are disinfected, so we're gonna keep any germs off of this poor little plant, and <laughs> I'm just gonna cut away at the roots from as close to the base of the plant as possible. This is how it's looking now completely rootless except for this one this guy is my savior right now and everything else is pretty bare so yeah we're just gonna rely on that one little root for now i believe in him that little root is gonna do a lot of good things for this plant so i'm going to now plant it this is the pot size i have decided on i think this is a four inch no this is probably like a six inch but um yeah we're using a terracotta pot to keep the moisture keep it from getting you know too wet and we're gonna pop this baby up right now like i mentioned before the plant did come with soil and i am going to use that when i pot the plant i just like to use whatever soil the plant was already in i feel like it helps it kind of adapt to the new soil it's being put in better it has like the same microbio microbiome or i don't know what it's called microbiome i was planning on using my soil mix that i make but i actually think that i'm going to use a pre pre-packaged soil mix because i kind of want to get rid of those packages so this is what i'm going to use this is from o uh, fox farms this is the ocean forest and I'm gonna use this. I'm not gonna add anything to it or anything. I'm just gonna use it as it is. So I'm going to pour some of this into my little, my little soil. Th oh my gosh, it all matches. Wait, let me get my spoon too. This is so cute. Okay, um, by the way, this a subscriber sent to me. Thank you, Sovereign Prax. And I feel like I've gotten a lot of questions about it, so he sent it to me. I'm sure you can find them, like similar ones to these on Amazon. This is a bonsai scoop. So it's made for bonsai, but it comes in like really handy when potting up. So just so you guys know.
Ox Farms has pretty good soil. As you can see, I'm trusting it <laughs> to put my allocation in. And I'm gonna be honest, I've become kind of really picky about soils that I use, which is why I like to make my own. I think I have another bag of Fox Farm soil, so I'm kind of, I kind of want to use it up. So, so we're gonna be using this soil. And like always, we're gonna start with the base, the base layer. And for this plant, I'm making the base layer pretty, pretty deep down, like it's halfway in the pot because I don't want to submerge too much of the plant into the pot. And I feel like this is a good, this is a good amount. So that's how far I'm going to make the base. And it is, it is pretty deep. It's deep. Um, it is pretty, pretty shallow. It's more shallow than I would normally pot a plant, but it's for the best. kind of added the <laughs> the soil it came in a little late there but that is okay so here it is and I did not fill anywhere near to the top of the brim of the pot because I really don't want to put too much of the stem of the plant into the soil so I feel like this is pretty good and hopefully this baby is gonna bounce back I am going to keep it in a coveted spot in the grow light section <laughs> and hopefully it just recovers from this um, grows out some new roots I am going to water it I think I'm just gonna give it a little bit of water right now like maybe a little spray oh I have a spray bottle yeah oh, I wish I had my blue spray bottle <laughs> I'm just gonna give it a little spray. So that's that's as much water as I'm gonna give it for now. Uh, I just want it to recover and I wanted to water it just to, you know, settle the soil. But I'm gonna keep this guy, like I said, underneath the grow lights and I'm not sure when to cut off this leaf because this leaf definitely is not gonna make it through uh, I need to cut it off. I don't know when I'm gonna cut it off, but there I can see that there is a new leaf coming off of the bigger plant, so I'm gonna be so excited when that comes out because this is such a beautiful plant. So pretty. Uh, <laughs> and hopefully it will do really well. I have a humidifier in this room. This room stays around 60% humidity. The lowest I'll let it go is to 40%. So, um, yeah, I'm really hoping for a speedy recovery for this little fella. And I'm really happy that it at least had that one little baby root because this whole plant is going to rely on that root right now. So I feel like I should cut off this leaf as soon as possible. I don't know. Let me guys know what you think in the comments if I should get rid of the leaf right now because it 100% is going to fall off. And I feel like I should cut it off, but... It's like how it feels when you're cutting off dead roots. It's like you know you have to, but you just don't wanna. So I know I have to cut it off. I just can't do it right now. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you think and I feel like the overall consensus is gonna be to cut it off and I feel like I just need to hear it first before I do it, I don't know. Okay, you guys. That is it for today's video. I feel like it was very short. It was just trying to save this little plant. And I'm gonna have more potting videos, repotting videos in the future, potting up propagations, repotting plants that need a bigger pot. Because I've, I've really been putting off repotting. I don't know why, I really love repotting. It's time to get it done. It's springtime, they're ready to grow. They need some bigger pots to fill out. <laughs> So I'm definitely gonna get on those, but thank you guys so much for watching Please wish me and my beautiful plant good luck He needs a lot of encouragement as much encouragement as he can get because he's so beautiful Oh my gosh, that also kind of makes me nervous because he doesn't have as much chlorophyll To get from the light. Oh my gosh, okay, I wish I didn't think of that right now, but 
Oh, I'm so much more nervous now that I thought of that. Anyways, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. I will have an update of this plant later on to, you know, just update you guys. But yeah, <laughs> okay, bye.